Breaking right now, we've just received new 911 calls from the moments after a plane crashed in Brevard County. Several people called for help after seeing the plane fall from the sky Monday night. Now, West 2's Amanda Ober is here now with these just released recordings. The 911 calls made the night of the Merritt Island plane crash reveal several witnesses in the surrounding neighborhoods watched that plane take a nosedive straight into the backyard of a local home. Killed in the crash were the plane's owner, 47 year old John Kish, and 64 year old Kenneth. Marks, both of Merritt Island. Investigators say the men took off from the Merritt Island Airport Monday night for a test flight because Marks was interested in buying that plane from Kish. Around 8.30 p.m., witnesses heard the plane sputter and backfire and then watched it dive to the ground. The 911 call started to pour in. Hey, a plane just uh, landed on the street next to me. I think it's Bel Air in the Hampton Homes. Okay, are you with the pilot or are they out of the plane? No, I'm just like walking. It. I'm on the next street and I saw the plane coming down and I saw, oh Lord, it's going to crash. And then all of a sudden it exploded. Now, there was no fuel spill after the crash and no fire, and aviation experts say the plane may have run out of fuel. The NTSB is still working to determine exactly what went wrong. Meantime, two people were killed in another small plane crash in Daytona Beach that same night. A flight instructor and a student pilot, both from out of the country, were killed when their plane went down after taking off from Daytona Beach International Airport. Amanda Ober reporting West 2 News. Jim. Amanda, thanks.